and 10 years on from the waterfall train disaster. Ten years ago today, the Illawarra changed forever. The waterfall train disaster claimed the lives of seven people and built a special bond between the families and friends of the victims, emergency services and those involved. A service was held in Helensburg to remember the lives lost. And despite the years that have passed, for many, the images of that dreadful day remain as vivid as ever. An emotional tribute to those so cruelly taken, each candle lit ensuring the memory of those who died on that horrific day lives on. More than 100 people gathered at the Holy Cross Catholic Church, each person touched by the disaster brought together to remember. Ying Zhang, Mark Hudson, James Ritchie, Marie Genevieve Goodair, Herman Zedis, John Burt, Andrew Ludman. Ten years on and the emotions are still raw, tears were shed. The memory is still so vivid from January 31, 2003. Among those paying tribute, the emergency services, who worked tirelessly to comfort those in their final moments or to help survivors to safety. As time moves on, um, you obviously move on, but yeah, the images, there are certain images that will be ingrained into uh, your memory for the rest of your life. It was an unimaginable scale of devastation. The 6.24am Tangara from Central to Port Kembla left the track south of Waterfall ploughing into the embankment. The front carriage crushed, the rear flipped on its side. Of the 80 passengers, 16 were injured, sadly seven didn't make it. In a special way, there is a bond between us because in adversity, in suffering, we do become very human. For everyone, it was a day of sadness, but of some comfort, knowing they're not alone and they have not been forgotten. Don't let anyone tell you you've worked through it now, your grief should be over. That's just not true. Each person each family take their own time to remember, to mourn, to grieve. Melissa Jaros, Win News.